Shalom. 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 We are the Hebrew Israelites, man, on this uh, eve of the Pesach. Um, you Kyle, GMS, Arkansas. You got uh, Kohala Mott. He's Shaw Mott from Missouri. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just come up here, man. The brothers asked me again, invited me again to come up for the Pesach, man. So how can you say no to brothers who are, are, are you know, good brothers, man? Brothers be brotherly, so huh. hey, without a question, bro. Brothers like, hey, man, come up here, hey, through the spirit and the power, y'all, by Shimmy Al Shai. We here on this E, man, just trying to get a lesson in, you know, huh. you know, because you never know on the way home, all hell could break loose. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't we in that time, you know, oh, yeah, we in that time of that Passover, you know, huh. so you know, things are happening, so we just want to keep being brotherly, you know keep this brotherly love thing going man that's why you see a lot of brothers are going to different camps visiting other brothers it's just the spirit had us in texas with well, last month yeah that was a beautiful yeah. uh gathering other brothers from indiana and lake charles came yeah, yeah. and we you didn't know. even plan i mean it wasn't really like no yeah. established plan yeah so that'd be the spirit you know so um uh we started psalms 133 and one come on, i got you this is the book of Psalms 133. This is Psalms 133 in verse 1. And it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Unity meaning what? That's uh when we go into unity, that's one, man. You know? Uh this is like this is like Yahweh Shai's new world order with the elect. Because we we in that one mind with Yahweh Shai. Come. You know? Read that again. Con, and it says, and it says, and it says, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Con, you go into that word pleasant. Pleasant is uh, uh, nayam, right? Hebrew nayam, meaning pleasant, delightful, sweet, lovely, agreeable. Mm. And when we're we mm. together, is, when the brothers are together, there's no disagreeing. Cause you know we 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 uh speak and we talk and on the scriptures, man. Huh. So we are not in disagreement. Cause if you're in disagreement with your brother, then you're in disagreement with your how about Shemuel mm -hmm. It says lovely, beautiful, physical, a physical beauty, you know. And we Israel, we 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 are the uh, beauty of Yahweh. We the apple of His eye, man. You know. When you have a pretty apple among all fruits, you're gonna notice that apple is bright red. You'll mm -hmm. notice that before any other fruit. Yeah, yeah. You you could be looking around and be like, what is it? That apple is gonna stand out, man. It's physical beauty, man. Mm -hmm. Singing sweetly, sounding music. That's sounding music of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of us getting salvation. Man, when we together, we look, we look uh, towards uh, uh that expectation of hope, that, that great expectation of uh the Lord, Yahweh Shai coming back and delivering us, man. That's what we speak on when we're together. That's that's brotherly love, man. That's dwelling in unity, man. You know? That's going into that word pleasant. Go ahead. And it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hmm. That unity means union. Unite, unitedness, man. Together. We all together in, in this one this one thing is called the spirit. We all mm -hmm. together in it. You know? Uh, I got a quick freak because you mm -hmm. said uh, that song, right? This is Revelations. Let me get over right here. This is Revelations 14 and verse 3. And it says, And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne mm -hmm. and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000. Because a unity song, you know, that together that we're singing the same song. Mm-hmm. And it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000. 144,000. Who are they? Those are the elect. Right? Those are the ones that are going to be saved, man. The, 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 the first, even you have a multitude going to be saved, but they're going to be, those are the men, man. These are going to be the men that's going to be governing your next society. You know? Go ahead. And it says, but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Which were redeemed from the earth, man. Yeah, bought back. Yep. That's what that means. Purchased, buy back, man. You know? 
Hey man, this is a business win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, y'all, yeah. said he wants usury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't. he wants a profit from his business. What? Yeah. What good business owner does not want a profit? Right. Why would you do the business? Right. The field is the world, and the world is the market. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the market. We we doing business, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, you got any more on that? Um, Go back to, uh, it just goes in Aaron's beard as the oint. It's a, I'll read too. It says it is like the mm-hmm. precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, mm-hmm. even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirt of his garment. It's a precious ointment, man. Mm-hmm. It's like I mean, it goes back into pleasant. The same yeah. thing. It's pleasant. Yeah. It's good. It's appropriate, right? It's appropriate for brothers to be, uh, uh being together, man. Uh. Even like getting, even if you can't be physically together, mm-hmm. get on the telephone, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get on the telephone, call somebody. Cause that that decree went out. Hey, I I try to make sure through the spirit, I can't call everybody in my uh, log, but I'm gonna call. It's I'm gonna my... call these two or three brothers, and we get get that fellowship in with somebody, man. Mm-hmm. You know, cause from that comes what the, the, we all in this in, in this one unit union is what you're gonna use the scriptures next thing you know you're gonna get off the phone you're gonna have a lesson yeah just mm-hmm. talking to brothers you're gonna have a lesson when you get off the phone man it's always like that because it says iron sharpened iron mm-hmm. and i told somebody that the other day i said iron sharpened iron but you got to be iron mm-hmm. <laughs> iron yeah. iron and wood don't sharpen Mm-mm. you can't sharpen the iron with wood you can't do it so that's the same thing with us, man. We got to be, if iron is sharpening iron, then that means both of those men have to be of iron, which goes into the brotherly love. Mm-hmm. Come on. Uh, that's, people, it, that's all I got. Because it says being precious, right? Because mm-hmm. you never know. That's why it's so cool, cool, good to be brotherly with brothers, man, because uh, you never know who a brother is, man. Uh, Hebrews 13, I think. Get that mm-hmm. Now, this is uh, Hebrews 13 and 1. Let brotherly love continue. Mm. That's, mm. That's it. <laughs> yep. Mm. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I don't That's the breakdown. Hey, what's continue? Sir? What's continue mean? You know? Yeah. Come, read on. Yeah. Continue yeah. means uh, to abide in. Mm. Mm. Right? Yep. To be held, to kept. You know, mm-hmm. to continue to be, not perish, to endure, to last. Mm. You know, to remain as one, mm. not to become another or different. Mm. Going into Damn. different doctrines, when you mm. want to be different. You even have brothers that's it's still in the truth. They want to be different than the rest, man. Huh. You know, they want to say, "Yeah, I'm still in the truth," but they want to do basically their own thing, man. Yeah. They want to be just different. Mm-hmm. No, man, <laughs> follow the rules and do what we're supposed to do, man. Yeah. That's the main thing, being a brother, because read the second verse. That's why it's real important to be brother to brothers, man. It says, it says, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, mm. for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So you you might be thinking, you you dealing with a brother, mm-hmm. you dealing with an angel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> unaware means, unaware. that means it's secret. They right. come up. And they and they good at keeping secrets, mm-hmm. cause yeah. uh, that you know a story popped in my head. I give Tobit, yeah, yeah. Tobit, he walked with that. He walked with to- Tobias. He walked. The angel mm-hmm. walked with Tobias mm-hmm. on a journey. Right. They ate. You know, it wasn't an overnight journey. Right. So that think that whole time Tobias is thinking here is this, and he's gaining feelings. Mm-hmm. If you read the story of of, of Tobias. He gained feelings for that angel. Mm-hmm. He loved that angel because he because when he when he when the when the father they talk with each other and the father was like, look, we got to get this man taken care of. Tobias was like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's my man right there. He gained feelings for him. Right. They became friends. He befriended an angel un- right. unawares. Right. And the angel had to tell him, look, the time you thought I was eating with you, I wasn't eating. I never ate. <laughs> mm-hmm. I never. I didn't oh, do anything. Right. Right. So the angel even had the. To, to break it down to him to say, look, I, I never did anything like that. That shows you the power of the Lord, man. That's beautiful, man. Hey, I, I, that's that's something you think about, man. You befriending a brother, you befriending angels. You don't know. Right. Come on, read that again. Let me say, be not forgetful to entertain strangers for... See, yeah, to entertain strangers, mm-hmm. you go into it, that go into having hospitality, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just being hospitable, man. Mm-hmm. You know, 
to say, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Because they come hidden, man. They'll come looking like a person who's homeless, man. Mm -hmm. They'll come, it's, it's probably some of them, uh, you never know. We might be angels in ourselves. We just took the form of a brother that mm -hmm. met a brother on the streets. You say, hey, I'm gonna try this dude out right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, a person, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Yashar. Yeah. That's gonna be my Hebrew name. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna live down here. I'm gonna go to high school. Just yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna let him meet him years later just to try you out. Just to try. You never know. Brother could oh, be an angel. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know, man. So you have to watch how you treat brothers, man, and what you say, you know? And, and I always say, too, the one thing I've noticed about guys that fall in and out of this truth. They, they might even be supreme in the scriptures, supreme in the Hebrew, just supreme. You would think like, damn, man, that's the, that's the, that's the, the uh, namesake brother. What would you think it'd be like? You know, know everything they can possibly be known, got all this references, but they lack brotherly love. Mm. That's a, that's a, that's the main thing. They lack brotherly love. That that's a heavy speed bump. If you if you hit that, that's I, it, it's a landmine. No matter what you do in this walk, if you hit that landmine of being like, man, fuck this dude, you know what I'm saying? And let yeah. the carnality, because it says it also says if you hate thy brother for no reason, mm -hmm. you've committed murder. Yep. That's mm -hmm. likened unto murder, man. Mm -hmm. So the, the, that's and that's a heavy sin. Uh, if you break one, you break them all. But to liken hating your brother as a, a, as a murderer, mm -hmm. that's a heavy comparison, man. You know, that's a heavy, a real heavy comparison. But a lot of dudes that fall out this thing, they don't keep brotherly love. They don't, they don't, they don't keep it. Well, they don't. Well, they don't have faith either. Because if you, because if you have faith, man, then then you will love your brothers, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. all, right, all right, man. All right, man. Now, Yahweh Shai, he loved uh, uh, Israel, so he gave his life for Israel. He put his faith in Israel. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he, he put his faith in Israel. Yeah. I mean, why would you give your life up for something you didn't believe in? Right. Yeah. And the thing he gave it, and, and those were the ones that murdered him. Right. Mm -hmm. So how heavy is that? Right. He put his faith in something that didn't even want him. Mm -hmm. But he knew that, because that, that's, yeah. and that proves also Yahweh Shai was Solomon. Because mm -hmm. what did Solomon tell the Lord? Give me the wisdom to rule this great people. So he had his faith in Israel. Yeah. His faith was so much in Israel, he was scared to rule Israel. Yeah. He said, Lord, you got to give me something to rule all of these great, I mean, greatness. I mean, right. I, I, I'm gonna, you're going to put me over these people, yeah. men of war, singers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to think, he, he, he was with his father, and we yep. spoke about that earlier. He's mm -hmm. probably by his father's side, man, yep. watching, judging, and, you know, Israel coming up. But, hey, man, that's, that's wild, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, get Titus uh, 3. Let's, let's read that scripture. I got you, huh? You can hold uh, Hebrews uh, 10. 10. Okay. Somewhere around 23, 24. 24. 23, 24. 3 and uh, 3 and 2. 3 and 2, Connor. Mm -hmm. This is Titus 3 and verse 2. It says, To speak evil of no man. To speak evil of no man, right? Mm. It says to speak evil of no man. Don't to, speak revile or reproach, right? To be no brawlers. Mm -hmm. Be but, not no fighters, right? But ge uh, a gentle. But be gentle, showing meekness, man. Being mild, being equitable, man. Mm. For this truth, man. Just showing a brother being being decent, man. Be, uh, uh, basically, when you read on, go ahead, read. And it says... Um, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all meekness, right? Go ahead. Showing all meekness unto all men. Now, when you read meekness, right? When you go into meekness, it's a uh, um, uh, prayer, pray, meaning gentleness, mildness, or meekness, meaning humility, man. So we have to show humility in this truth, man. That's the only way you're gonna be brother to a brother, show humility. And being all, and being, like you said, all mildness and meekness, man. You know, being hospitable, man. Shit, brothers, if brothers come where I'm at, man, I try to do everything to be hospitable. You know, be cool, man. And then when I have seen the same love, when I go visit brothers, ain't seen no no other way, man. I mean, 